So often we talk about running Facebook carousel ads when we're talking about promoting a product or service. But did you know that you can run Gmail catalog ads that will accomplish a very similar goal? Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna create not only a Gmail ad, but a Gmail catalog ad. So follow along the screen share for how to. We need to start at the beginning. So make sure you log into your AdWords account. Make sure you're utilizing the new interface. The reason that you want to make sure you are in the new interface is because Gmail ads are going through an update between the old and the new interface, and this will alleviate any future problems you could incur. And so make sure you're on your campaigns tab. We're going to click the blue button to add a new campaign type. And here's where we're going to select display. Then make sure you identify what the goal of your Gmail ad is. For myself, I'm going to select website traffic and drive some traffic over to our hard facts. And so here, campaign subtype, Gmail. And one thing you want to make sure you do is not skip this step here, specifically because it's going to come into play when we create our catalog ads in a few moments. So when we click continue, it's going to give us all of our campaign information. So this is really setting up your campaign from what the name of it is to how you're going to go about bidding, your budget of course, and then some of the additional details and thought provoking ideas you can pull in from uh, Gmail itself. And so we will not be covering the specifics here, but if you do have questions, um, for example, on how you should be budgeting, what kind of bidding you should be using, or how you can create audiences to see your ads, comment on this video below and we can talk specifics about your business. But we're gonna cover how to create the Gmail catalog ad now. So here's an example where if we had already some existing Gmail campaigns, we don't have to start from scratch. Um, but many instances for catalog ads, you are going to want to create new ones in different iterations depending on the product, the service, or the content you're trying to get out there. So we're going to click Gmail ad. Then we're going to go down and you're going to see you have the option here for a few different types of ads. So you have images, videos, and catalog images. And so here's where we're gonna to go to catalog images. And what I like about this is you have a few different options. So we can actually scan our website for different content that we wanna utilize in our catalog ad. So I can pick, for example, our logo, but it's going to give you the details you need to know based on the size of the images on your website. So for example, all of our logos on our website are too small to utilize. But knowing that I wanna create this video promoting hard facts content, I can search that specific URL. Here is what we need to know. Not only can be the image be too small or too big, but it can also be too rectangular. So Gmail utilizes a one by one square instead of the rectangle images that we use in hard facts each week. So this is where being able to upload an image right here is going to be really important. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that the images that you're utilizing make sense. So for example, it doesn't really make too much sense because you can kind of see my hand there, it leaves it a little bit mm, off as an image. Um, but for all intents and purposes and examples, we'll utilize that for today. But definitely curate these images so they're really refined and well fitting the platform. We can also check any recently utilized images. So for example, these are things utilized in other aspects of our account, and we can pop those in there as well, and save it. And it's going to give us a preview here of what it looks like. Now we have a lot of updating still to do. So we wanna make sure that we go in here and we update information about our company. So let's say our business is Pochats. We wanna come up with a headline. So this is going to auto show us the example on the right hand side here, which I love. So you can see how everything is going to fit in and how everything is going to look. Make sure you can type correctly and check your spelling. And we'll pop ahead here and I'll show you an example of what this looks like when I completely fill it out. Okay, so now you see that I've put in not only our business name, our headline, our description, and you can see it auto-populates our final URL here. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is add this ad asset here, and you want to search your website for a logo that you can utilize. So let's select our logo and click continue. And then we also wanna make sure we select a marketing image. So for here, I'm gonna pull from the hard facts page of our website since it is for hard facts. And here's where we can use a rectangular image. Let's see if we can center that a little bit better. 
and then press save. So here's two places you're going to see that. You're going to see that in the preview for the logo and then this white previously gray space is all covered up and you can look at that preview on the computer. So now you have that top header right here. So great visual use of your space. Now, one thing we need to add is what our call to action is going to be. So those blue buttons, we can change what they say. So for example, we could say, watch now, and you'll notice that all of the buttons change. And then we can put in a final URL. However, what we really need to do is provide multiple URLs and calls to action. If you're utilizing one image in the Gmail ad, then it's a great time to utilize that quick insert. However, if you're focusing on multiple products, multiple services, or in this case, multiple videos, we wanna make sure we're linking everybody directly to that content on our website. So let's just click this hot cup of coffee, which I definitely wish I had right now, and update this information. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm completely finished. So now you can see that I've added in all of the custom information. So each of my videos have a custom description, a custom call to action, as well as most importantly, that final URL. Now there's a couple more options we can use. So we can have a custom teaser, a custom call to action, or a custom color option. So you can definitely experiment with those additional options, but definitely keep in mind that sometimes when you change things here, there are going to change things you've already created and add it in, for example, that custom teaser will change this Gmail ads how to. So definitely get in there, experiment, utilize not just the catalog ads, but additional Gmail ad types, because they're definitely a great way to drive awareness, leads, clicks over to your website, and overall traffic for your business. So that's how you can create a Gmail ad for your business. If you hit a roadblock or have a question, feel free to message me below. Or if you have a topic you'd like me to cover in an upcoming hard facts, I'd love to hear from you.